know he's coming through Athens. And so we will be prepared and he will be surprised. Oh, Mr. Storekeeper, good evening. Good evening, Mr. Van. How are you today? Oh, it's a lovely evening. I'm just fine. Just fine. I think it's a lovely evening. I hear by the, the news by the morning stage from Athens to Columbus that John Hunt Morgan was captured in Hampton yesterday. He was captured! Huzzah! Did you hear? Well, I guess our militia mustered in Athens for no reason. <laughs> well, they'll be safe there. They'll be safe there. They'll be safe with all the others. It's a, it's a, it's a terrible thing that he's been doing, though. Going through these towns, stealing horses. <sighs> At least your horses can rest easy if you've been hiding them. The great horse thief, General Hunt Morgan, has been captured. Well, I guess we have a reason to celebrate. Certainly. Well, if he was to if he was to come through Athens now, he would be most surprised. The militia. The people down the street, they're coming. They're really coming. They're they're coming. What? Where's the mayor? Where's the mayor? Mayor, come here, mayor. They're coming. Morgan and his raiders are coming down Common Street right now. Right now, they're in charge. Where's the militia? He must be mistaken. What do we do? Get your arm. Where's the army? I've heard that the general is a gentleman. Everyone stay calm. Suppose that you are General Hunt Morgan. John Hunt Morgan, Confederate States Cavalry, at your service. What say you, sir? And Mayor Stewart here of Nelsonville. And I have heard that you are a gentleman, sir. I would like you to understand that we will offer you no resistance here in Nelsonville. And we are a peaceful town. We have nothing here. We have no militia. We have nothing to offer you. We would ask you to peacefully ride through and leave our town in peace and in harmony the way you found it. I accept your surrender, Mr. Mayor. However, I must take exception with you as to the military significance of Nelsonville. Those canal boats loaded with coal and that mill are supplying your Union Army, which aggresses against our people. Therefore, I have ordered that they be burned. However, I must tell you our main need is for food, Mayor. fresh horses, Fresh horses and whiskey. Our boat is in that basin. My wife and I, we named it Custer. It's not a working boat. It's a family boat. We live on that boat. Custer, Custer, why he's he's a union, he's a union general. How dare you name a boat after a dirty union general? Mr. General, don't turn our boat. But it's not a working boat. That is indeed. A handsome baby. It reminds me of my little daughter, about the same age. Her name is Johnny. I will tell you, ma'am, in all our thousand-mile raid, we have not burned one Yankee home, which is more than I can say for your Union Army. We have not. We're not about to begin burning homes now. Colonel Duke, tell uh, tell Bailey to go over to Basin and not to burn the boat. What is it? The Castor. Well, tell her to change the name to the General Morgan in honor of me, but not to burn the boat. Now, you take your baby and go home to your boat. You have my word that no harm shall befall you, your child, or your family. As for you, Mr. Mayor, I must tell you we will not enter any of your people's homes, nor will we molest any of your citizens. However, I must say, that my men will enter your storehouses and they will help themselves to whatever supplies they deem necessary for the completion of their mission and for their own enjoyment. I will not interfere either. For too long, your Union Army has ravished our land and my men burn with, burn with anger 
and they want to give you a taste of your own medicine, so they will take what they need. Tell your people not to interfere, or they will be punished severely. Now, we are hungry. You need to bring out food and drink, and do not hold back. And one more thing, Mr. Mayor. I thank you for the surrender of your town. It was a wise thing you did. You saved us both a great deal of unpleasantness. Now, my men and I must be on our way and get something to eat. I do believe I shall be over to Mr. Rocky's store to see if they have some boots for my men. And I, and I want Mrs. Fulbrooks to bring out all the pies she has. I understand she is quite a good baker. So we will be in town for a few more hours. You carry on and keep your people in good order. Nice to be here. Well, I would like to say it's nice to have you here, but ride on in peace, General.